Welcome to the session on Engineering Graphics. In today's session, we are going to see the problem on regular hexagonal lamina. The problem statement is given here. A regular hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm is lying in such a way that one of its corners on HP while the corner opposite to the corner on which the lamina rests is on PP. If the lamina makes 60 degrees to HP, draw the projections of the lamina. To start this problem, first we have to understand the problem statement. So the lamina is of hexagon and the side is 25 mm. And this lamina is resting on HP with one of its corners. So take a line, maintain a thickness of 0.05 mm, draw a line here, name this line as XY line. Then this is PP. And below XY it is H. Now to draw the hexagon, get a line, start from the point, get one line, then horizontal line, another line, another line, another line, and connect this. Now we need a hexagon of side 25 mm. So type 25 mm and go to equal command. Use this equal command. Make this equal to this, this equal to this, this equal to this, this equal to this, and this equal to this. Now all six sides are 25 mm, and the included angle for hexagon is 120 degrees. 120 degree. Another angle here is 120 degree. And remaining will be 120 degrees automatically. Okay, so you do you don't have to give the dimensions for the remaining angles. Now you can give the names to the corners that is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So to get the front view of this, we have to project A have projected. Then B to F I have projected, C to E and further I have projected, D I have projected. All the six corners we have projected. I will trim this extra lines and I will get the line from this end to this end to this end and this end. So we have got the front piece. We can name the point here. This would be A dash, this would be B dash, in bracket, F dash, this would be C dash, in bracket, E dash, and this would be D dash. So the first stage is completed, we have drawn the top view as well as the front view. Now when the lamina makes 60 degrees to HP, so still it will remain a line as a front piece and the top view we have to project it. So the line will select it, that is the first edge front view, select this line, go to move command, move this line from this end, get it somewhere here, right click. Go to rotate, rotate it from this corner to this corner with rotation angle of 60 degrees which is given. Make it rigid set and connect this point of this line on XY. Now you can go to select tool and you can move this line wherever you want. Angle of this line with HP is 60 which is given here. 
again you can give the names or you can copy the names from here using control button then you can project this a dash till this a a dash to a then from b dash till this b then from this c dash till c then from d dash till this d similarly from e dash till this e or else you can get it from here to here if you are getting that midpoint and all just you can extend it and then from f dash to f here now I'll trim this extra line I'll go to line this is a to b to c to d e f and back to a Again, you can complete the naming here. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, and this is F. Then, in the third stage, we are saying that the corner opposite to the corner on which the lamina rests is on B. So, here the resting corner is A, and the corner opposite to this corner is D. So D is on VP. So the point is on VP. Its top view would be on XY. So D we have to touch it to VP. So go to select tool. Select this. Then go to move from this D point. Move this. Right click. Go to rotate from this point to this point, rotate it to 90 degrees, sorry, rotate it to 90 degrees from this point to this point. Then you select this, make it rigid set. Connect this point to this line and again you can move wherever you want this. Again you can give the naming. So this point would be the D point, then this would be E, this would be F, this would be A, this would be B and this would be C. To get the front view, again we have to start the projections from A to this A dash, it will come here, then from this B to this B dash, it will come here, then from this C to this here, then from the D to this D. Then from E till here, then from F till here. Already you are getting a point. So still, if you want, you can get the line tick from here to here. Not an issue. Or else you can go to this split option. You can have this line which will be split at this point. Now get a line from this A to B to C to D to E to F and back to A. So cross verification you can do. The line should have the same length. So everything is same. So this is the final view you have got. So again you can give the names. So this would be A dash, 
this would be d dash this is e dash this is d dash this is e dash this is f dash so all the lines you are drawn with 0 0.05 now you can make the final width as a thick line so go to select select all the lines this one this entire hexagon select all the lines by holding control button from the keyboard and convert these lines to a thickness of 0.4 m so here this line has become extra just erase this and select this line make it 0.4 we can have this line from here to here as a thin line so this is the final solution what we have got dimension 25 which is given in that we are shown and level 60 we are shown this D point which is opposite to the resting corner A that is on XY and we have completed the solution. Thank you.